This is an experiment I'm going to be trying here. Um, what these are is these are some cherry trees. A lot of places and a lot of people I talk to tell me that uh, cherries cannot be grown in the southern United States, in the south. Well, my boss, I, I work at a nursery and he tells me the same thing. So what I'm basically ba going to be doing here is um, there's very little information on YouTube about uh, growing cherries in the south. Uh, whenever you see videos of people growing cherries, it's normally in the West, Pacific Northwest, you know, Northern United States, places like that. Well, from what I understand, cherry trees do not like to grow in the Southern United States for primarily, and actually from the years I've had working at the greenhouse and garden center I work at, I've actually seen this to be true. If anybody watching this video, it'll uh, be kind of an informative video for you to watch. Um, the varieties of cherries I have here, I have four different varieties. This first one here is a coral champagne, if you can see that. They're all four to five feet. I bought these from, uh, all of these cherry trees I bought from a place called Willis Orchard out of Georgia. Now this one right here was not from Willis. This one here is a North Star pie cherry. It's a sour cherry. It's actually um, it's actually two years old I believe, two or three. And this one here is a Brooks cherry. It's an earlier cherry variety too. And this last one here is a Tulare. So basically uh, if you go on Willis's website these are the low chill cherries they offer. Now where I live in the I actually, where I live is not a quote-unquote low-chill place, although I have to say, uh, this is the winter of 2016 and 2017. This is the warmest winter I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> and the people I talk to, it, it's not that it's not getting cold, because we've had temperatures in the 20s and 30s, and we even had a few nights in the teens. But it's just, it's, it's been staying really warm for really long. I mean, we'll get one week where it's in the 70s, and then it'll go back, you know, in the cold. And then we'll have another week where it's in the 60s and 70s. But anyways, back to the story. So I've got these four cherry trees. The um, Basically, the problem with cherries to grow here in the south is three things. Number one, in most places of the south, they don't get enough cherry... Uh, blah. They don't get enough chill hours to set uh, a good amount of fruit. Now these are all rated at 400, except for North Star, which is rated at 500. Uh, I do, on a normal year, get between 7 and 800 chill hours. Again, I live in southern Arkansas, in case you don't know. Um, but again, like I said, number one is lack of chill hours. Cherry trees form what's called spurs, like most other stone fruits. These little bitty buds right here. And in order to form those little bitty spurs, they have to have adequate chilling. If they don't have adequate chilling, you're not going to form them. See, on this tree here, we've got nice spurs starting to form, just little bitty branch-like things. When you don't get adequate chilling, they don't form, and you don't get any fruit. Cherry trees can bear cherries at a young age, like peaches and apricots and nectarines, except if those buds don't form, then obviously, you know, you're not going to get any cherries. The second big thing they hate is humidity. Uh, from probably the course of late May to late September, if you live anywhere in the south, and really anywhere in a lot of the United States, you get very high humidity. I mean, it feels like walking into a just a wall of water when you step outside. And cherries don't like that. So, um, and I'll explain why I planted them right here too. And the third reason cherry trees don't like to live in this part of the country is the soil. In this part of the country, we have almost just pure clay, and it is so hard for it to drain because the water just comes down, hits it, and stops. So uh, cherry trees, more than any other trees, like good drainage. So to help combat all of that, the first thing I did was planted them in between my house and the neighbor's house, so we get lots of, and this is the part of the house where the wind likes to blow a lot. 
right in through here we get lots of wind more so than in the yard actually um, just because of the uh, the tunneling effect you know how wind likes to when it when it goes through a smaller space it accelerates lots of wind and air drainage um, plus with this tree here they'll have afternoon shade because in the summertime the sun's usually up here the second reason I planted them here is that it's very high you'll notice this is kind of on a slope right here you see you may I don't know if you can tell but the house is actually higher than that and the water tends to run off that way and the third thing is basically as you can see I took all of these trees and I dug dug a good two or three feet deep hole about two or three feet wide by about two or three feet deep basically took all that soil and threw it out and I completely uh, basically replaced it with some really good topsoil and compost mixed together and I just filled the hole back in and set the bare root tree on top so these trees are actually planted above ground level technically now the reason you see bark on these two is this tree here and this tree here have been here a while they've been here for about a year now so uh, and these other two are new plants so I thought from what originally what I was told is that uh, tart cherries will pollinate sweet cherries but I found out later that they will not so be careful about that tart cherries will not pollinate sweet cherries number one they bloom a lot later and number two the pollen is just not very compatible so anyways um, I thank you guys for watching I will keep you guys updated probably I'll do an update video in the spring and let you know how my low chill cherries are doing and uh, if anybody's interested in buying trees I highly recommend Willis Orchard. They sell very good quality trees for a very good price. Uh, when you order a four to five foot tree, actually, here's just an example of what you get. <laughs> you get a, now here's my shoulder right here, and there's the tree, and I'm 6'2". So, but again, this tree right here did not come from Willis. This came from another uh, nursery. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope this is helpful information, and uh, we'll see how they do.